So hi guys, how are you going? So what we're here for today is to show you how to import files into Filmora. So let's open up Filmora. So this is um, Filmora version 9. So there's a few ways which you can import files. So you've got here import, click on the drop down. So we want to import media files. So you can import images, videos, audio. Now basically just go to the location where your files are located. So I've got this particular folder here where I've got multiple files that I've been working on. So if you want to just pick on, on one of them, it'll highlight it, the, the file, then click open and it'll drop the file in. Very simple. Okay, now if you want to import multiple files, so import go import media files again. Now what you can do is now use your mouse and highlight the multiple files you want to bring in. They will be all sectioned out in grey. And then click open. And that will now drop in all of those files. Another option is to import a media folder. So what you might have done is you might have put all your folders, all your files now to a particular folder. So let's just grab um, Nerf Gun Rack. Now if I click OK, now there's lots of files in that particular folder. So what that will do now, as you can see, it's actually importing all the files. So because there were so many files in that folder, you can see it took a little while. Yeah, and now it's put them all in. Another little trick is, for instance, all those files that were imported just then are all still highlighted. So if you just lift, left click on one of them, you can actually automatically drop them into your timeline. And now I always basically keep project settings 1920 by 1080. And what that will do is that will now drop every file that you've just imported in. Okay. And if we scroll across the here now, so pretty much all of those files have all now been dropped into the timeline. Alright. Now, if you want to import from a camera or, or phone, I've got my um, iPhone plugged in by a USB cable. So let's click on that. Now, you basically have to select the device. So there's my Apple iPhone. All right. Now, what it will do is it will scan your phone. Now, automatically, it will check everything. Okay, okay. So now, you've got the check all box. So if you click that, that will unclick, unselect them. If you click it again, that will select them. Okay. So if we grab, so just say so there's this one file here. That's the one we want to select. Then click OK. Now, if you want to save the file into a particular location, click on the folder. Then I'm going to say drop it to my desktop. And I'm going to set up a new folder here. And we'll call it test. So I'm going to put into this test folder. And then click select folder. And then click OK. So what that will do is it will import that one file and it will dump it into that particular folder. Okay. Now if you look at um, all your um, imported media, you'll see there it is right there. Okay. And then we can drop that into our timeline. Um, and there it is right there. Okay. So, so there's one, two, three, various, and that's pretty much the most common ways. And again, it works exactly the same with photos, uh, with audio files, you name it. Now, also you've got here, if you go to file, you can import media from here. And again, it's exactly the same as the shortcut I showed you. So exactly the same options. Alright, hope you enjoyed this short video, nice and simple and straightforward.
there'll be quite a few videos in this series I've been using Filmora now for a couple of years I found it quite an easy tool to use and I use it for all my um, YouTube videos which I upload so again if you like the content give us a thumbs up um, if you know anyone that might find this useful um, share it with them uh, and if you've got any particular questions just let us know uh, drop in the comments below um, otherwise um, I'll see you in the next video thanks guys bye